Okay, so today we're changing the pumps on a 2009 CTS-V to the DW300Cs dual pump system. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do it without breaking it. Uh, this is the pump you'll get it out of the tank. A uh, couple things to note. Do not break this. Do not break that. You break any of this. It's done. Uh, to get it apart, these springs need to become loose. There are little rings down here. You will need ice picks. If you don't have ice picks, you're going to have a headache. You just put it in. They will pop out and fly if you're not careful. So try not to lose them. Ice pick helps with that. that extra set of hands helps. Same, same way with the other side. And there goes one. Fortunately, we got extras, and that one didn't go far, so I'll get it in a second. This will then just work its way up. Now, you can go ahead and unplug everything. If you forget where any of this plugs in, all you gotta do is quick Google search for the pump, get a picture of it, and you'll see exactly where it goes, because both these connectors are the same fit, they're just different colors. I'm not sure if it matters either, which either side they go in, but we like to put things back where we got them. Uh, another thing to note, this hose, do not cut this off. You will not be able to replace this. It is not fixable. If you try to put another hose on the bottom half of this, it, uh, it will kink and will not work for you. Then these tabs, three tabs in total, pump system comes out, everything comes up like so. Now, here's what... Here's the key to this whole thing. There's a black hose down in here. It's small, plastic, and has a very fragile nipple on it. It will break off with very little pressure, and if it does, you will be buying a whole new unit. And it's not cheap. And you won't find one in the junkyard. So don't break it. Uh, before you pull it out and do break it, you'll notice this little thing right here. It actually has four clips, on each, one on each corner. If you get a set of these, you can easily reach down in there, especially with an extra set of hands, pop the clips, pull this whole unit out, make sure you pop the bottom half off first before you do that. That way you can pull this out with this, keep it all together, and you don't have to worry about breaking anything. I don't care what any other instruction says, this prevents you from buying a new unit. Uh, always do anything preventive like that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, work with the next set of hands to get this out. We'll start the video over. I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out. Once you pop the four clips, it's just an O-ring that seals this in. So it'll come out all in one unit. We'll change the pumps put it back together. Okay, so just so you know it's possible, this did come out. All four clips intact. It did take four ice picks to do and some finagling. It's a pain in the butt, but it's better than buying a new unit. Once that's free, unclip the bottom. You don't have to mess with this. This is your level. This is, tells the uh, car how much fuel you got, so you don't want to bend this or your gas gauge is going to be off. But once that's off, the entire unit will come out all in one. Now, Thing to note, if you didn't take this off, notice how this hose is bent. When you pull it out, it's going to want to kink and bend and put pressure on it. You're going to risk breaking it. If for whatever reason you do do that, uh, this joint here, not the bottom one, but this one, will spin. So you can grab each one with both hands and make that spin to kind of angle it. But I prefer this method. That way, you don't break anything. Like I said, no matter what anybody tells you, don't break this hose. It's not replaceable. It's not repairable. Notice the sharp bend at the bottom. If you get any kind of rubber hose, I don't think I have a piece laying around, but once it comes off, it's a straight 90 because this is the edge of the bucket, and it'll kink right here. And then you have a plastic wall up there, so if it's not a thin piece of rubber, which you don't want, it won't even fit up in there, so don't even attempt it. Uh, this rubber hose isn't really delicate. It's flexible, so you can... Kind of do what you want with that. Next thing we're going to do is 
we're going to uh, take this plastic clip off. Like I said, if you forget where any of these wires go, just refer to the picture. And it makes it a lot easier. So you want to push down on this ground. This will come out. We're going to take this whole plastic top off. And these pumps are held in just by o-ring pressure. So if it feels tight, just kind of work it, twist it, they'll pop right off. So I'm going to do that right now. I mean, nice pick. So, not worried about the cap, that hose is okay. We got this ground wire here, just pull up on it, bend it, there you go. Okay, next is, there's four clips, one, two, three, four. Hold these two pumps in. Bend one up, reach in, bend the other one up. This is kind of, like I said, without ice picks, but I tell you, it's not easy. I'm just kind of wiggle it and they'll come out. I'm gonna get this plastic off, make the job a little easier. Number, oh, so they're tight, they are really, really tight. There you go. There's that, take that off, set it to the side. You're gonna be keeping this unit here. So you don't have to unplug these. Just, I mean, if you wanna mark them before you take them out, you can, but like I said, I'll just look at the picture. And uh, don't put any pressure on this while you're working. Don't grab it, don't bend it, don't move it. Don't risk it. <laughs> you don't, you don't want to have to get another one. Uh, these are tied together by the filter at the bottom. Other than that, they're just freely sitting in there now. So I'm going to work it. It's going to come out. I'm going to work this one. Out they come. Now you can switch these uh, harnesses. I actually thought they stayed in the unit. They don't. Not a big deal. They just clips. It's hard when you're holding everything. There we go. Hold that one. Then that one. There's the old pumps. This is the unit you want to keep. You want to keep everything intact, like I said. You take these, set them aside for now. Uh, I'm actually going to try to remember which side they went on. So, right side blue, left side red. I'm going to set them to the left and right. And so they're both the same harness. They're both two wires, same plug. You can mix them up. I don't think it's really going to matter, but just for you know, professionalism's sake, that's your unit there. Next, we're going to take some uh, so the DW300 at C's, and uh, we're going to just push them right back up in there, plug everything back together, put it back in the bucket. This is that's really it. That's all there is to it. And then, like I said, this this is what's fragile. So once you get it all put back in the bucket, you just put it together, slide it in. This stays on the outside. This clips on the inside. And you break one of these tabs, it ain't a big deal. There's four of them. So, no loss there. Uh, we're going to put the pumps in, then I'll demonstrate putting it back in the pump. Okay, so one thing to remember before you put these in, because it comes with new hardware. It comes with new O-rings, and you want to just stick them on and put it in. But before you do that, you want to take the stock pump setup, remove this white sock, a spacer, from each pump, put it on the new pump, and then it'll come with four O-rings. You want to take both of them and put it on top. This is as per instructions. Now, the kit also comes with some grease. I've kind of already used it all. We're going to use the same kind of grease, just dielectric grease. This makes it go in easy so you don't tear anything up. And just a little grease around the o rings. Just like I said, it's dielectric grease. It's not going to hurt anything, it's not going to get into anything. Once you put that on there, grab your uh, assembly. 
so. Doesn't matter which side it goes in, both pumps are the same. And uh, it'll only go in one way. Pop. It's in. Do the other one the same way. And when you put the plastic cap back on, this cap back on, it'll clip in and hold the pumps in. If you use one injector or you forget the sock, the seal, or if you use one O-ring and forget or forget the sock, either one, it'll blow the O-ring back and just relieve pressure inside the, the bucket and you'll never get fuel pressure. But uh, like this, should be good to go. We'll do the other one, put it back together, we'll put it in the car. Okay, so here it is all back together. Here's the new pumps. Notice the filters are different. These are very easy to put on. They just press on a snap. Uh, not a big deal there. Everything's back together. Notice our hose is not broken. It'll just snap right back in. Flexible hose is good. Springs are good. Wiring's just like it was in the picture. Uh, I mean, don't forget your ground. <laughs> Do not forget your ground. Uh, there's how the harnesses look. For reference, what color went where. Like I said, I'm not sure it matters, but in case you want to do it that way. Uh, now we're going to stick it back in the bucket and be careful of this. And we should be ready to go. So let's give it a try. Line your springs up. Be careful of this thing here. Now, like I say, this snaps right down that little hole. And there's no ring there, a nipple. Once you get it, this whole thing in, just push it down and snap it. This fits in the groove, and then don't forget to snap this on at the bottom when you're done. I'm gonna start another video. So, get your springs to go through the. Alright, so here we go. We're going in. Notice everything's lined up. Pins are lined up. Springs are compressed down now. Take this, press it down and snap it. It'll line up on the groove. Press that down, you got the white clips all the way around that need to snap. Right there, right there. Now to hold the springs down, just hold it against you, grab one of these, and just push it on, it goes on really easy. Holds like that. Grab the other one. in on it and on there and it'll snap and that holds it all together and there's your pump once that's done now this go there's a harness coming from the inside of the gas tank as well as a hose oh, see never, never forget things as well as a hose so the hose snaps on there the harness plugs in here put that in the tank like so push it down put the ring back on snap the fuel line on snap the harness in Done. And you don't forget to prime your fuel system. You're not going to hurt anything if you don't, but it's just going to keep turning over and over and over and over and over and not start because there's no fuel on the line. So turn the key on, prime it, turn it off, prime it, prime it, get some fuel going, build up some pressure, then you can start it. Like I said, it's, it's just in park and the free spin. You're not going to hurt anything. But uh, you, know, you, want it to, you want it to start and hear it roar. So we're going to put it back in. We'll let you hear start up. There you go. 